Sanders, yeah. For Sally Andrew. Yeah. I am from Colombia originally. You know, I've been and I've also been, you know, lucky to be able to travel to different places. And there are great cities, there are great communities. But a very important thing for me is always being part of a community that has a projection. You know, where I can be part of the start of something. And I really believe that San Leandro can, San Leandro can be that. With all the economic initiatives to tra transform itself into a center for innovation, that's a big opportunity for the entire city and its millennials, the, the younger generations, to really sink in. There's a new industrial revolution happening in, in America, and that's advanced manufacturing. My dad was a heavy equipment mechanic, so the first thing I learned to drive was a bulldozer at the age of 12. Just been taking apart and fixing things all the way, all along. If we didn't like how much something costs, or we didn't like the fact that it didn't do all the things that we wanted it to do, we would make it. 3D printing is, is something along the lines of, if you think it in your mind and you can draw it on a computer, then within a couple of hours, you can hold it in your hand. How do you see fiber optic technology and Lit San Leandro actually helping um, the machines you make and what you're going to do in the future? I did the Mozilla Ignite with these machines right here. We had the printers at Internet Archives and then they were being remotely controlled from Chicago. Without the fiber optic technology, you wouldn't be able to do it because there'd be too much delay. What is the Omnom Project? Omnom Project is a machine to grind up failed 3D prints and other materials. Omnom's working with plastic grocery bags is one of my biggest targets, and water bottles. If you shrink them down, you know, it only takes 267 bags to make a roll of filament. So you're, we're tapping into this new idea now where the individual gets to actually recycle its own products and its waste. Create their own resource. Yeah, that's a great epiphany to have. What there needs to be is a scanning technology that will allow people to take ideas like custom fit ear gear and to be able to send them to 3D printers. That's where we come in. You can think of the sugar cube essentially like a 3D fax. So what happens? 3D fax. Yeah. So with startups, you want to start in a place that you're going to be disruptive and you're going to have the biggest influence. So what we figured out is that we can take these physical ear impressions, we can stick them in our, our sugar cube scanner and that will actually create and send a 3D model into the cloud. How is fast internet enabling you guys to do your work better? The access to fiber optic is a huge benefit for us. We have some uh, partners and some other audiologists that we're working with that do upwards of 4,000 impressions a month. We're gonna need to have the access to the highest speed internet in order to process these models in a timely way. I feel like there's a real hunger in San Leandro yeah. that's, that is going to bring attract a lot of relevant people, companies, startups. It's going to attract a lot of investors, and it's going to actually attract the necessary people that are going to make San Leandro uh, a, a hub for innovation. We can't be status quo. We can't do the normal things in order to survive in this industry and to be the best at it. We need to advance in our technologies, therefore our thinking, everything that we do minute by minute throughout the day and collaborating is all towards becoming innovative, micro innovative ideas. That synergy that goes on throughout the day is where your innovation comes from. Micro innovation and what that plays in applied fusion. It's almost a complete different term. I've never heard it before. This is a breeding ground for ideas and, and especially when you're dealing with uh, so many craftspeople here that have been in the trade for 30, 40 years uh, is, is a, a wealth of knowledge that you have to tap into and you got to keep your ears open. So it's really cool to be around a lot of smart people that, that uh, not only smart, but these guys have built things with their hands for years and years. So they understand manufacturing at its core. And, and this creates more ideas as they get more experience. As we get older, we become more fine-tuned at what we do and realize that we have a, a bigger goal to achieve and that's uh, to push our limits. The micro-innovation, how I perceived it when you mentioned it, is in the manufacturing techniques. That's right. We're always asking for a better way to do things. We're part of a new generation of, of manufacturing. It's, it's starting. This is a revolution. We want to be part of that. We want to get on that. Do you have a particular vision for this city? San Leandro is a, a manufacturing powerhouse, but we need to continue to train people. So in order to get that talent in here, 
We need to have the schools here and the teaching here to educate the youngsters so they can come in and we can start inviting them into this environment. Being here, our training program in San Leandro, this is a magnet. This is where not only apprentices throughout Alameda County come to receive their training, also over 2,000 inside Wireman Journey level electricians for IBW and NECA get their training here. Almost 1,000 hours of related college level instruction that they get college credit for. And over the course of that five years, the only thing they pay for are their books each year and their starting hand tools. Other than that, their education is fully funded. What is the concept of the Zero Net Energy building? We had the building first, an existing building of, built in the early 1980s, 46,000 square feet. Now it was, how can this building best reflect the direction we see the electrical construction industry going, but also at the same time our values? So of course, then the uh, conversation turned to net zero or zero net energy, meaning that over the course of one calendar year, your facility produces as much electricity as it uses, and it produces it on site. So what is your vision of San Leandro and what do you want to see San Leandro become? Well, right now I would have to say, I happen to think San Leandro's the center of this whole zero energy movement that's going on in the country as far as it relates to converting existing buildings, just by the existence of this building here and their support of it. So to me, that's tremendous. I mean, this could end up, we could end up looking at this building and where it took place in San Leandro and say, you know, that was ground zero. What is Halix? What is, uh, what is, you know, what is the company? Who started it? What's the story behind it? Um, well, I, I started the uh, company in 2000 and uh, I, I did it because I wanted to get into the green energy field. Okay. And that's also why I moved to California because at the time that this was the main place that had wind turbines. There's a company that we use for ultrasonic testing of the uh, welding that we do called Testing Engineers. Oh, cool. They're based so in San Leandro. So actually outsource and talk with people from the community. Absolutely, we use, uh, we use several vendors in, the, in, the, uh, in San Leandro. There's another company that um, helps us with uh, motor rewinding work and uh, they're also uh, based in San Leandro and they're called Koffler Electric. That is kind of what we see as the vision of the, of the new San Leandro is all these communities engaging. Uh, my name is Jennifer Lieberman. I'm the director of the Kaiser Permanente Sydney R. Garfield Healthcare Innovation Center. So we have a new uh, hospital that is going to be opening in 2014. Um, we've prototyped a lot of the spaces that you'll see in nice. that facility. Um, what, patient, what, are, what are the new things we're going to be seeing? Patient room of the future um, that gives a lot more control to the, the patient. Um, lots of technology and interactive patient care. It feels more like a hospitality environment than a, than a clinical environment. You know, it, sh it should be like that. You know, at some point you want to have that relationship with the space in a, in a community that is more of a hospitality relationship, right? That's pretty cool that you mentioned that because I will feel a lot better if I, if I feel like I'm in a hotel <laughs> rather than if I'm you know, in a hospital. Yeah. How is this space, uh, you know, relates to innovation? How is this space innovative? It's kind of like a Montessori school for adults. We provide everybody with the tools to, to brainstorm, rapidly construct prototypes. Um, test them out with our patients, with our physicians, cool. with our labor partners, and if something doesn't work, we just adjust a part. So you really say that innovation happens? Oh yeah, yeah, we say innovation thrives at the Garfield Center. Two, one, two, two. I'm in this crazy suit here, all these red lights, no idea what I'm getting into, what is this? Well, we're creating a digital character, a digital representation of you, and these lights are actually blinking 960 times a second, synchronized to the cameras. And all these cameras around you track you, and then we're able to tell the position down to a fraction of a millimeter, so that we turn it into a computer version of you. Hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's you too. Yeah. It brings out the real you. Yeah, check these muscles out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feeling toasty. I can eat myself. So what's your vision of San Leandro, and how do you want to contribute to the next DNA of San Leandro. 
Well, I think that collaborating with the other companies, with the foundry down the road, with the machine shops, uh, with the other innovators in the area, we can build these, prototype these, and demonstrate these, and then once they work, actually manufacture them here in San Leandro. What are some companies and industries you want to see in San Leandro in the future? Innovation is not just uh, an idea. It's actually building, debugging, working together, creating infrastructure. And so I think as talented people come in, uh, lured by jobs at Kaiser, lured by OSI Soft, and lured by FaceSpace, that you're going to see a community building of all these creative people. How does what you're doing now integrate with our new generation of innovation and technology? The goal is that I can work with, mentor, or just collaborate with some of these new uh, innovators and share the experience uh, with the exuberance uh, until we have something that really gels and comes together.